in this part of uh, Easy Ballistics tutorial, we are going to take another look at uh, material response because um, this functionality has changed in 1.4 and the classic uh, material response is now deprecated and replaced by material response map, which works slightly differently. So I'm going to show you how to use it. So what is a material response map? So uh, as you probably know, uh, Easy Ballistics uh, does simulate uh, material penetration, material ricochet, and so on. And uh, this, of course, not only vary by type of the bullet, but uh, also by the impacted material. So uh, in this test scene, uh, imagine uh, like this is your regular wall, say concrete. This is uh, this is wood, and this is steel. So of course, you want bullets to go easier through, let's say, wood and concrete than through steel. First thing we need to do is to create a physical material like this. Let's just call it, I don't know, steel, like this. And let's assign it to some object in the scene. Easiest way to do it is to link a physical material into your regular visual material. And this is done by opening the material. Hold on a second, I need to find out where it is. Here it is. Let's open it. Right here, you have this material. Select it, apply. And once it compiles, all the objects that uh, use uh, this uh, visual material will be using also the physical material that's linked to it. Another way, if you want to assign uh, the physical material separately from visual material is to select some object and right under collision you have this material override. So we can also assign it to this. Now uh, we have done that. We also need to create our material response map. This is a part that's uh, different in 1.4. If you're on older version, uh, I'm going to link previous version of this tutorial and use that but in 1.4 and the newer this new method is used so let's go under miscellaneous and create a new data asset like this and now as you can see uh, you have option to create eb material response map uh, material response is the old one use uh, the map Now we open it, create a new entry like this, and here you have uh, option to select the physical material like this. We only have one created, so we are going to use this one. Click the little triangle on the left. Here you can uh, edit how this material affects uh, the bullet's behavior. Uh, so let's say for our game we want uh, the steel objects to be much harder to penetrate so what we can do is just to turn down the penetration depth multiplier let's say to 0 0.1 and uh, now the bullet will travel 10 times 
shorter distance through steel than to, through other materials. We can also tweak um, how much the path is normalized at uh, 90 degree angle and at grazing angle. And you can also also change probability and energy restitution of ricochets. And also you have uh, options to just uh, never penetrate and never ricochet. This one also lowers the, uh, let's say, computational complexity of this calculation because when you select it, all the calculations will be just simply skipped. But uh, let's not do that right now. Uh, what we need to do right now is the final step, and that is to open uh, our bullet blueprint. In the bullet blueprint, we simply select the object itself, not one of its components, just the self. And here we find material response map and just select our new data set. Okay, we can rename it and so on, but this is all that really needs to be done. And when we go to game, and if we try to shoot the steel object, as you can see, the bullet will lose most of its energy and in most cases it will not penetrate at all unlike the regular material which it can travel through with no great difficulty of course your your material response map can contain as many entries as you want really uh, the change from the old material response is that uh, searching through map is much much faster so you can really have tons of of entries in uh, this map and it will search through them uh, fairly quickly by the way uh, one thing i haven't covered in the previous version of this tutorial was the pen trace type oh, now this can be used to uh, select which method uh, of penetration calculation is in use and it can either like check uh, from the other side of the object with backtrace this is to be used when um, uh, let's say uh, front and back side of your um, wall are two different objects uh, uh, say it's made out of one-sided models or something uh, next uh, option is solid now uh, this is best used for objects that are made of either the uh, engine primitives um, that are made of like collision uh, capsules, uh, collision boxes, and so on. The other also built-in stuff, and also it works well with convex objects. And uh, the final option is forward trace. Now, uh, this is uh, intended for objects that have uh, two-sided collisions. Now, this is uh, great for uh, USB-SP. It gets best results with something like this made out of, made out of the BSP brushes. Now, uh, for the most part, uh, you can simply use backtrace for everything. Uh, the only 
only situation where you really need to select those uh, things when you have uh, two objects in close proximity, uh, closer than uh, than penetration depth. Otherwise, backtrace is really the default option and simply leave it there. 